Hello everyone, welcome to this practice. My name is Sarah, my pronouns are she, her. We're gonna do a short practice seated in a chair with a yoga strap or a scarf or a belt or a dog leash. So grab whatever you have, grab your chair, and we'll get started. Make sure to follow or subscribe so that you get more yoga videos sent to you on a regular basis, all specifically for people in bigger bodies, so welcome. So, we have this strap. We're sitting on the edge of our chair. I'm just leaving this dangling on my body, letting my hands go. Maybe closing my eyes, taking a breath or two. Noticing how we feel in this moment. Maybe we want to take our strap and raise it above our head. Breathing here. And we could do that a couple times, raising it up and then lowering it down. Noticing what feels good here, what doesn't. Maybe we want to lift the strap up and then lower it down to one side. Taking a breath here, bring it back to center, taking another one on the other side, breathing, lowering that down. We could do some shoulder rolls, letting go of the strap. Doing like shrugs. I'm doing like back and forth shrugs, but you could also do circular rolls one way. Just make sure if you do that, you also go the other way. So doing a few each way. And then we can come to rest. So when you've done a few in each direction, come back to your seated position. Here we can think about making our stance a little bit wider. To do that, I'm sitting on the edge of the chair. So to do that, I have to sit up really nice and tall. I'm gonna breathe here. Maybe you want to take my strap, raise it up above my head. Maybe you want to make your arms a little bit wider than you did before. I'm trying to figure out what's balanced here. And then maybe you want to think about bringing it back behind your head a little bit. If that doesn't feel good, don't worry. We can work on coming up. But the wider you bring your hands, the more room you might have, or the more range of motion you might have to bring your hands back. And so you can bring it a little bit above your head, you can bring it back behind your head. Just be really careful. And if it feels you're gonna feel a stretch, but if it feels like pain, not good. Pain and like a stretching muscle sensation is different. So, you know, something like a difficult movement, something that's hard to do is very different than being in pain. All right, so we'll do that again. Maybe bringing it up and behind, taking your breath, noticing how this feels, and then shaking it out. From here, I'm gonna move my chair back just so you can see my feet. You don't have to move. I'm gonna take this strap and I'm gonna put it around one of my feet. And then I'm gonna bring my heel down onto the ground. So here I have my heel on the ground, toes towards the sky. I'm gonna take a breath here. I'm sitting on the edge of my chair. I'm actually gonna move a little bit forward. Sometimes you can tell when you get used to sitting on the edge of the chair, you'll, you can tell sort of when you're too far back. You'll, get, you'll find the right spot for you. So we breathe here. We Thinking about, do you feel anything in the back line of your leg? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe you wanna move the strap up towards your toes a little bit more and pull your toes back. That makes me feel more sensation. So you explore that. We can take that off. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And then get around the middle of the foot, heel down, toes up. How's that feel? And then maybe we want to do that exploration with the toes. Seeing how that goes. And then we can let that go. We can do some small steps, lifting up your feet. And notice when you lift up your feet, what happens to your body? Like I tend to rock a little bit, my chair starts to creep. Maybe try and stay as still as you can in the rest of your body. We're just moving our legs. When I do this, you might notice it's similar for you. I find myself having to engage my core and maybe engage my butt muscles a little bit to stay still because I want to rock around as I do this. So trying to stay really still actually helps me engage muscles in the rest of my body even though they're not moving. So you can explore that. Then, option to take that strap, putting it around your foot again. I'm going to put it around the middle of my foot. I'm going to hold the strap in the same hand as the leg. 
and then maybe lifting up my foot. So here I'm doing a little bit of a like knee up, knee, <laughs> knee to face, um, or march, whatever you want to call it, using that strap. And then we have this option, if you want, to explore kicking out. So we lift up, and then we can kick out straight, and then right back. And it doesn't have to be high like that. Could be lower. Could be closer to the ground. You could go from your foot being down on the ground to bring your heel out onto the ground. So we're still doing that outward motion, but we're bringing the heel down to the ground. So you choose sort of which version of this you want to do. Maybe you want to do both or all three and try them out. And then after you've done a few of those, maybe you want to explore those knee raises again. So just the knee raise, but we'll do one up and then out to the side and then back. So up and out to the side. If you've done any other videos with me, we've done these hip opening movements before. Again, you can use your hand on the inside of the leg to push it out even further if you want. You don't have to though. After you've done a few of those, then we can combine it all together. We'll do this, what am I doing here? I'm all twisted up. So we'll do the kick out first and then we'll open up to the side. So knee up, kick out as, as uh, straight or as high as you want and then option to open up to the side and see how that feels. I find myself grasping the chair and that's okay. You can do that if you want that support. Lifting up, out, and out to the side. Trying to sit up tall and it's hard. So you might notice for me, what I tend to do is I go out to the side and then I like lean over to try and keep my leg up. Not great. I'm trying to like balance myself out and use like the momentum of my body and the strength of my whole body to keep my leg up. That's not what we want to do. So if that means your leg is lower, but you're sitting up a little more straight, that's okay. So out, out to the side. And you, you can see, like I am on an angle. I'm trying to sit up more, but I still need to build strength. So once you're here, take a few breaths and then bring it back. And we do the same thing on the other side. So we'll start with the strap around the foot, doing those knee raises. Breathing here. Then maybe we want to do that kick out. Noticing what feels good here. Does it feel good to kick out? Do you like it? Do you want to do that tap? All options are good options. I like taking different variations each time I practice. It makes it more fun. Add some variety into what I'm doing. So maybe you want to explore that too. And so now that we've done that forward kick, we can do that knee raise and knee out to the side motion. So up and out and back. So doing that a few times. Oop. And then maybe you want to have your hand here. Again, you don't have to, to push your leg open even further. That just opens up your hip a little bit more. And then we'll do one more before maybe we want to combine it all and do that kick and then out to the side. So lifting it up, kicking it out, out to the side. And again, check yourself. I like my leaning down and coming back. We'll do it one more time. Out to the side, trying to lean up. And again, as you can see, like as I lean further out, my leg goes more up. As I try to come back to the correct alignment, my leg is lower down, and that's okay. There's no prize for the person that can lift their leg the highest. And then we can let that go. We can shake it out. Maybe we want to bring our strap down. We can bring our hands to our legs. Maybe sitting nice and tall. Maybe we want to close our eyes. Taking a few breaths. Thank you so much for this practice today. I hope you enjoy exploring using a strap and in the chair. Maybe thinking about how your hips are feeling at this moment. And hopefully we practice again together soon. Thank you.